Noddy, Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all Toyland. There's Biggies and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. Noddy, Noddy, Noddy. It was a friendly afternoon in Toyland, and Noddy had gone to visit Big Ears. Tin Can Day. Oh, pardon? Tin Can Day, Noddy. I've been reading about it. An ancient Toyland celebration. What sort of celebration? Such fun. We'd collect tin cans and saucepans and kettles and bang them against each other. We'd march to Stony Bridge, banging and clattering all the way, and there some would do acrobatic tricks. Then we'd march back to Market Square and eat hot chestnuts. <laughs> but what was the point? It was believed that all the noise would drive mischief makers away from Toyland. We could do with a tin can day to keep those <laughs> goblins away. They're always making mischief. <laughs> Perhaps we could have a tin can day again, Big Ears. I'd love to march around banging saucepans. What a fine idea. Let's put it to PC Plot. Tin can day? Before my time, I'm afraid. Oh, it happened many years ago. It might keep the goblins away. Oh, we could try it out. We'll need someone wise and sensible to organise it. Oh, <laughs> if you say so, Mr. Plod. So I shall be in charge. Dinah Doll can roast the chestnuts. Clockwork Clown can do tricks at Stony Bridge. Right, let's get on. It's some time since last I made an important announcement. <laughs> Attention, please. Tomorrow will be Tin Can Day. Ooh, tin can All tin toys can. must come to Market Square with saucepans and kettles. And tin cans. And tin cans. We shall bang said tin cans, saucepans and kettles. And clatter them. And clatter them. We shall proceed to Stony Bridge. Banging and clattering. Yeah, banging and clattering. There, Clockwork Clown will do tricks. Yeah, what's Plot going on about, Gobbo? Telling the toys to keep out of mischief, I expect. <laughs> That's the last thing we want to hear. We won't be able to cause trouble. But we will. We'll cause trouble tomorrow. We'll ruin Tin Can Day. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I can make a much louder noise. There, that's better. Ooh, I can't wait for Tin Can Day. <laughs> right, end of line, everyone. It's time to move off. Clatter the cans. <laughs> Who would leave dustbins in our path? Who would want to ruin Tin Can Day? I shall investigate later. Let's clear away. <laughs> This'll hold them up. Let's get to Stony Bridge. <laughs> Did these branches get here? <laughs> This'll put a stop to Clockwork Clown and his tricks. Quick, let's take the other way back to Market Square and eat all the chestnuts. <laughs> halt! Clockwork Clown, if you please. Hoppla! <laughs> Some mischief maker has tipped grease all over Stony Bridge. We'll have to tug Clockwork Clown out. I'll dash home and fetch my car. Ooh. Ho! 
Oh, sorry, Clockwork Clown! Here it goes! <laughs> oh, oh, <it> is... <laughs> It is too greasy for my tricks. Perhaps I may do them when we return to Market Square? We mustn't let mischief make us ruin tin candy. Quite right, Noddy. After two, one, hectic! Hey, Whoa. silence! Clockwork Clown will now do his tricks. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I can hardly move. My arms and the legs, they are so stiff. Never mind, Clockwork Clown. Look, hot chestnuts for everyone. I can't see a hot chestnut. <gasps> Somebody's taken my chestnuts. Those mischief makers again. So, Tin Candy hasn't worked at all. Hmm. I'm sorry your arms and legs are so stiff, Clockwork Clown. Perhaps you'll feel better after a warm and cosy night's sleep. Would you like to stay at my house? Thank you, Noddy. That is be so kind. Good morning. How are you? I do not know. I shall try to move. <clears throat> oh, my hands and legs are stiffer than ever. You need some breakfast. Would you like toast and eggs? May I say what I should like the most in the whole world? Spaghetti! Right. I'll go to the market right away and get some spaghetti. Grazie, Nodi. <laughs> oh, dear. You are making an odd noise, little car. You're squeaking just like Clockwork Clown. Oh, well, I'd better take you to the garage. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's your problem. Rust, remember yesterday when you pulled Clockwork Clown from the stream? Your back wheels were in the water. That's why your car's rusty and stiff. Perhaps that's why Clockwork Clown is squeaking. He was in the water for ages. That must be it. And why his arms and legs are stiff. Well, it's nothing a drop of oil won't put right. Will you come to my house and oil him? Yeah, of course I will. Naughty, your spaghetti is delicious. Hey, Clockwork Clown, you're fully oiled. Now see if you can move without squeaking. <laughs> Hoppla! Hoppla! <laughs> oh, thank you. I feel better than ever. I wish to do my tricks once more. Well done, Clockwork Clown. How excellent to see you restored to health. We should pretend yesterday didn't happen, Big Ears, and finish Tin Can Day properly. <laughs> we ruined their Tin Can Day. <laughs> and we are still here. Oh, they'll never try that again. Fool! <laughs> <laughs> wow! You spoke too soon. Let's get away. Ah, no. ah, no. Help me out of here! Oh. Ah. Oh. Sly, look at your coat. Is that grease? The very grease that was poured over Stony Bridge. You fool, Sly! Oh. Come on! After all these years, Tin Can Day has worked once again. It's just as you said, Big Ears. The noise has driven the mischief makers away. <laughs> Noddy, the little man with the red and yellow car. Noddy, his tinkling bell means he's the happiest little fellow in all. Big is and Tubby and Mr. Plot and all his special friends. It's sixpence an adventure and he'll take you home again. And now it's time for Noddy to wave and say goodbye. He's tired and sleepy and nodding his head. He's ready to curl himself up in bed and see what tomorrow brings. For Noddy, Noddy.